we're so honored to be here at York Mills Collegiate to be um, celebrating this incredible day of pink and you know it's a celebration of inclusivity and diversity. Today is the International Day of Pink. It was created as an awareness campaign to end 2SLGBTQIA plus bullying. The Toronto District School Board held events in schools today, including at York Mills Collegiate. At this time, we have the police wanted us in jail and the um, psychiatrists wanted us in mental institutions. The TDSB invited Martin Boyce, who is the survivor of the Stonewall Riots, and a gay rights activist to speak. The Stonewall Riots is considered to be a pivotal moment that opened the doors for the gay liberation movement in both the U.S. and Canada. What happened at Stonewall? Uh, at Stonewall was um, an immense pent-up adrenaline. International Day of Pink was created after an incident at a school in Nova Scotia back in 2007. A grade 9 student received threats for wearing a pink shirt, so two students who witnessed this assault decided to speak out and, with the help of staff, purchased pink shirts to be distributed, and it didn't take long for other area schools to do the same. International Day of Pink is a day of coming together as, as a community to celebrate 2SLGBTQIA plus uh, individuality uh, expression experiences and uh, that, I think that's all what that today is about is having the courage to say that you're going to be an advocate an ally having the courage to express who you are and to stand up against hate in the world the event also had a performance from Isis Couture, the winner of Canada's Drag Race Season 2. It's okay to be yourself. There's always going to be people not um, agreeing with what you believe, but it's important to have the courage to stand up and be who you are, true to yourself and not change who you are to fit in. TDSB officials tell City News that there are resources available on its website for any students within the 2S LGBTQIA plus community who are experiencing bullying. In Toronto, I'm Brandon Rowe for City News.